Hi folks, Dominic here and just in here in a beautiful sort of a sacred spot here down the monks here in Cullen. Super super spot folks and just a uh, super spot for relaxing uh, having a good chat with yourself. I come down here often and have a good chat with myself. Great spot I'd just show you there around I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the camera there. That's it there. It's a little garden with all these arches, timber arches um, from branches. Strangest growths I've ever seen in my life really. Super spot, great spot for um, <clears throat> like I said relaxing, having a chat with yourself. Um, I just wanted to come here today and I just wanted to recap a bit about yesterday's videos or yesterday's video second what I done <clears throat> I talked about limiting mindsets and about how I had given up the cigarettes due to my Empower Network program and due to other parts that are related to that program which I want to move forward with in my life. So a lot of fitness stuff. And just after cycling down here today, about two miles from, from home, I'll cycle back to two miles. And then I'll head back to the swimming pool again this evening, do another bit of fitness. I'll just show you another art right here. Super beautiful spot, folks. Um, I just want to show you. There's another art right there. There's other little archways in here where you can go in, lay down, rest, have a good chat with yourself. Um, I often come down here and relax with myself. And um, generally, about the limiting mindset and about giving up the cigarettes, I got a couple of messages yesterday to know how I gave them up. And to be honest with you, I spoke about limiting mindsets yesterday and I'm just going to give you one example of a limiting mindset that I started to discover in myself about cigarettes. I'm just going to show you not more arches here folks. Lovely spot, super spot here. I just want to get in here and show you this. Where you can there's all branches growing along the ground in here. You can actually go in, lay down, total relaxing spot. Uh, I'm just showing it to you because I love it and this is probably a lot to do with my mindset moving forward this kind of stuff here um, so about, go back about the limiting mindsets about giving up the cigarettes I'm going to give you an example uh, I went to see my life coach last week Stevie McGowan, super life coach uh, I advise anybody if they're looking for a life coach don't go further than Stevie, super, super guy uh, give me a lot of help, continues to give me help. I have a lot of CDs at home, stuff like that. Parts of my program that I have to listen to every day. And um, CB helped me a lot with it. And he started dragging a lot of my thoughts on why I smoke. And um, started reinforcing stuff within me. So I came out anyway, after sitting down with Stevie, felt a lot of stuff within me after moving and I sat into the car Steve I hope you're watching this you're gonna have some laugh about this I was really coming out of that meeting <coughs> with Steve I said to myself I don't want to cut yourself what are you going to be smoking for now you know they're killing you um, but I did I was getting very slow on myself from smoking and I knew that for me to move forward in my Empower Network program, or for me to move forward in my life and start loving myself more, that I was going to have to kick them, they had to go. And I sort of came home with that in my mind, but I got into the car and I smoked the fag straight away. And I hated the taste of it, being honest with you. Uh, the first one was rotten after having my meeting. It seemed like my mind was after moving then. And the limits within my mind about giving them up was after moving because I had talked and talked about it. I talked about a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that was blocking me. Um, 
So example, limiting mindset about cigarettes. I used to be going along and I used to always have, for about the last six or seven years, I used to be always saying to myself, I'm going to give them dirty things up. Every day I used to get up and I'm going to give them dirty things up. <coughs> They're rotten. They're not good for me. I don't need them in my life. By me smoking them, I'm not loving myself. I'm not seeing after myself. That's what I used to feel. I could never give them up. I told you yesterday. I could never ever give them up. Due to one thing and one thing only. And that is my own limiting mindset around the idea or thought of giving them up. Every time I think about giving them up, this fear would build up inside me. And I used to say, what am I going to do without them? How am I going to live without them? When in fact, they were actually killing me. And I couldn't see that. But I can see it today. So like I said, I came out from the meeting with Stevie anyway. And... <clears throat> My mind had definitely moved after that meeting with Stevie McGowan. He's a life coach, super guy. Uh, I keep mentioning Stevie, great guy. Uh, he's helping me continuously with my program, with my life program, um, which is really for me a part of my Empower Network program because they all work together. My fitness program, everything works together side by side. Without one, the picture uh, isn't complete, that's what I feel. And um, there's more bits. It's not a hard job. Um, it's actually great, it's a great lifestyle. A lot of people say to me, how are you living? David Wood and David Sharp designed this business. Living a life while building a business. That's what they call it. Uh, that was sort of the concept. They wanted a they want the people to live their life while building a business. So, so this is how I'm living. This is what I'm doing now. Um, I go around and I have good chats with myself and I start finding limit and mindsets within myself. And the more I find the limit and mindsets, the more I move forward within myself. And the more breakthroughs I have and the more barriers I break down and the stronger I get. And I find them getting stronger and stronger and stronger every day. Uh, provided I continue doing the right things on a daily basis, the daily steps. We have daily steps to take. And to be honest with you, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling alive. After my video yesterday, I went to the swimming pool. <clears throat> and I remember going back and forth at the swimming pool. And I used to be bad out going back and forth at the swimming pool. And I'm not joking, lads. I went back and forth at the swimming pool yesterday. I don't know where it came from. My full body was floating on top of the water on its own. I had to put in no effort. And I felt great and I felt powerful. I went from that into the jacuzzi. I was sitting in the jacuzzi. And I'm not joking, the presence I felt within myself and around myself, I felt absolutely super. The energy I felt within myself, I felt great. That I was after breaking through this, I was after getting off the cigarettes something I was trying to do for 22 years. I remember when I started them, standing up on top of the apple tree, down, down by my grandmother's house in Skull, down in West Cork. My grandmother used to smell the smoke off me and she used to say, go on away, you tara. Tell the truth and shame the devil. That's what she used to always say to me. Do you know what? There was great lessons, folks, from these old people. Tell the truth and shame the devil. So why couldn't I give up the cigarettes? Because I couldn't tell myself the truth. The more truth I tell myself along the way, the more breakthroughs I have. Sometimes it can be painful to tell yourself the truth about stuff in your life. But what I'm finding is this. The more I tell myself the truth, the more freedom I get, the more success I get within myself, around me, about my living. It's totally changing. Absolutely, totally. It's just like turn around, totally changing them after knocking off my glasses there, David would live a laugh in the air. It's just like my life came along and just went from this to this, due to me making a decision. 
I have to make the decision. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to go back to the limit and mindset stuff about the cigarettes, folks. This might help somebody. I hope that this will help somebody about limit and mindsets. I used to go along and he used to be saying, how am I going to give them up? I can't give them away, so they're the only thing I have. I gave up drink 13 years ago. And I used to look back at that experience of giving up drink 13 years ago. And I knew that something happened deep within me when I gave up the drink 13 years ago. The presence that I used to find around myself when I gave up the drink was unbelievable. And I knew that it was this presence had shifted my mind from the place where I was to where I wanted to be. I remember saying at that time, well, just live or die now. And my, mind's, my, my mind just be thinking in them lines. So, do you know what, folks? If your mind is thinking about anything like this, keep thinking about that stuff because the more you think about it and the more you start to focus on making it a reality, the more it becomes a reality. That's my experience. That's my experience with this Empower Network program today. The more I focused on this becoming a reality, the more it's becoming a reality on a daily basis. I have to take daily action steps every day. I can't get off of those steps. Once you get in here, folks, like I seen a thing this morning. I seen a beautiful sign this morning up on a woman's uh, Facebook page and I think it was saying, um, once I awaken, why would I go back to sleep? Or why would I want to go back to sleep? Because the peace that I'm finding in my life today, folks, I'm even walking along here, and the peace within me is unbelievable. And I, I really feel guided along my daily living today, and I have no fear, no fear of nothing. No fear about money. No fear of that kind of stuff. It's all been lifted out of my life and my life is just starting to flow along exactly how I want it to be. So I'm going to go back again to another few little bits and pieces about limiting mindset. <clears throat> or about limiting beliefs. About the cigarettes anyway, I left Stevie's place, folks. I came home in the car. I got a couple of bottles of water and went home. I felt very refreshed after the meeting. I felt a lot of shifting going on within myself. Shifting in the right direction. I came in the door at home. There's a few people there and I said to them, I said, I'll tell you one thing, I said I'd be off the cigarettes very soon. And I really felt that. So, like I said, I had the idea within me, this is going to happen. No matter what happens, this is going to happen. <coughs> And it's the same for anything, really. So I was sitting down at home Saturday morning. There was a man actually supposed to be coming to fix up gate, my gates. Uh, the electric boxes were broken, my gates. Outside. There was a man coming to fix the gates. And I sat down and I started observing my behaviour about when I feel like having a cigarette. This is what I started doing. And I started watching myself. My head would tell me, go on, have a fag there, so go on, have one, you'll be all right. And I'd hear the other part of me saying, no, don't bother, don't bother. And I wouldn't bother having one. And I started watching my behaviour then. And my behaviour had me running up and down the stairs, had me going over to presses open and presses open and doors. And I started laughing at myself. I actually did. I started laughing. I used to la I was laughing. I spent, I, I spent about two to three hours observing my behaviour. And I believe that a lot of the success in this programme is due to observing my own behaviours. And I used to, like I said there yesterday in the video, I used to think that all these people were a hindrance to me and they just wanted my money. The more I started looking deeper into it, the more stuff started shifting in my mind and I started seeing what these people were actually doing for me. These people were actually guiding me and giving me great information on a daily basis. So once again, how did I give up the cigarettes? I went from 30 to 35 cigarettes a day, folks, to zero in the space of about three days. All due to this program, my life coach and the other programs. Just zero, bang. Just like that, 
decision made, I'm not going to smoke a cigarette no more. And um, my body started. To be honest with you, I used to be very caught for breath and stuff. And I started to see that they were breaking me down. I said, yeah, I'm not going to die at all. I'm going to start living. But I had to start living in lots of areas of my life. I used to always, when I was a little boy, I used to always be going along and the ESP always saying to myself, I said, there's something great or there's something missing here, I, there's something not right. And to be honest with you, there was stuff missing. And it was my own limit and beliefs was blocking me from what was missing. That's what was missing. My own limit and beliefs, my limit and beliefs. So whatever limit and beliefs folks you have, like I'd be talking with a lot of people there about the internet stuff that we do there. And they say, oh, I couldn't do that at all. That's a limiting belief. And I just said in, my, sort of my reply to that is, if I didn't watch the videos and if I didn't study it, I couldn't do it either. But it was my dream and my passion to be an internet marketer. It's not about the money, really, to be honest with you. Well, everybody needs to live. We all need money, we all need to pay our bills, all my bills are paid thanks be to God. Four months ago I made a decision, here was the decision I made. I said I'm telling you one thing, I'm going to stick at this here. And I said, I'm not going to leave no fear pull me back into the rat race, because fear used to always pull me back into the rat race. What I mean by the rat race, phones ringing all around me. 100 phone calls a day, this kind of stuff. And. I used to find that I'd be in great peace before I'd pick up my phone and all that kind of stuff and as soon as i get off the phone then I, all my direction would be gone. So that's why I removed my phones. Because the more I sit with myself and the more I continue to sit with myself on a daily basis the more I observe my own behaviours. That's what I discovered. And the more I observe my own behaviours, the more I see the limiting beliefs within myself. And the more I see the limiting beliefs within myself, the more I can do something about those limiting beliefs within myself. And I really, really believe here, doing this video this evening, down here in the Monks and Cullen, super spot, like I said, anybody here in County Lowder wants a nice place for a walk, it's a great spot. Great peace in here, super, super spot. There's monks living up there in the monastery up above there, I'll show you there in a minute. You can go up there and you can have a chat with them anytime you want. If you want to think about it your mind, you can go up and have a chat with them. And really and truthfully, this journey for me is about finding all these limiting mindsets or limiting beliefs within my mindset and chipping away at them observing my own behaviour as to see why I couldn't reach the sky like I said I always felt there was something not right and it's all coming together for me today and the more I'm honest with myself in all of these limiting beliefs the more it comes together for me that's really the picture it's actually that simple and I said it yesterday do you know what by me having these limiting beliefs within myself and by me becoming aware of these limiting beliefs within myself I can then be aware of limiting beliefs being fired at me from outside like I said there I used to be talking about internet marketing and stuff like that to people and they used to be picking up the limiting beliefs that they be fired back at me but it's up to me if I pick up those limiting beliefs or not, or if it's up to me if I allow those limiting beliefs to affect my pathway moving forward in life. So today, I surround myself with very positive people who actually deal with stuff like removing these limiting beliefs. And these people are there for anybody. They put out their hand. Once you reach out to any of these people in the right way, they won't turn you away at all, they won't laugh at you at all. They're there to help you, to remove your limiting beliefs, to move you forward in life. Same as I'm here today, I know I'm moving forward in my life today, I'm moving in the right direction. I got out of a job 
four or five months ago, like I said. And I made a rock solid decision when I got out of that job. I was after having a business before, I had a very, very, very successful business. I had 60 men working for me at one stage. And I turned every money that you could ever believe in that business in the space of about five years. And I know that the reason that happened was that I was working on my mindset at the time and I was removing limiting beliefs from my life. Now, I don't say this boasting, folks, because I had a business back years ago where I went bankrupt and I lost everything. I lost my first house. I'm not a bit ashamed to say that. I can say that. Do you know what? My past is my greatest asset. And I learned a lot of stuff from that in my life. And I started working on my mindset that time. And, and, and folks, this isn't about the money. Don't think it's about... Uh, I'm not talking here or boasting about the money. I, I, I'm just trying to paint the picture here. About limiting beliefs and what they can do to us. They can destroy us. I believe we can kill ourselves with our own limiting beliefs. And that's what I was doing with the cigarettes. I was killing myself with the limiting belief that I can't give these up. Sure, if I give these up, what have I got? When in fact these were killing me. Sure, that's pure insanity, really, folks. And I started to discover that. And when you discover those truths, it's impossible to tell yourself lies about it. Um, I'm sorry to reinforce.